Hey Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I am here doing your February 6th daily love reading. Um, I do apologize. Your guys' channel messages are coming. Uh, I have tried to upload it and I keep getting an error message when I upload yours and error signs. So um, be watching for that. Hopefully I can figure it out after I get these dailies done. So I'm going to tip you down here so you can watch the cards come out. Spirit guides and angels, what messages do you have for our earth signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 6, 2019 in love. All right. The Four of Wands is your first card out. Let me scoot you back. There we go. Your next card is the Queen of Pentacles. Earth and Fire so far. And the Hermit. Eight of Swords and Judgment did come out as well. We will keep them. The person you are dealing with, Earth Signs. And one more to balance out the energy. Thank you. All right, your guys' outcome for the day. Prince of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck in shared energy is the Four of Cups with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Next card out is the Three of Swords. So, holy smokes, Earth, uh, Earth signs, you guys have a lot of cards here. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start with your energy. The first card out was the Four of Wands. So um, centered around a divine commitment right now, your mind is most definitely thinking about somebody that you share a bond with, share a connection with that you feel is from the heavens, from the divine. Um, you're wanting to build a, a stable life with this person. You could be um, with this person currently, or this could be somebody that you are wanting to pursue into a relationship, but it's just wanting to have that stability, wanting to have that, uh, foundation to where you guys can build a life together. The next card out is the queen of Pentacles. So you're wanting to nurture this relationship. You could be dealing with somebody that you do already have a home with. Um, yeah, this person is, this person nurtures the relationship a lot. This person knows their value, knows their worth, but is exhausted trying to make this relationship work. You are here, uh, Virgos with the hermit. Uh, you are going to go within today, uh, and try to get some answers for yourself, trying to get some answers to figure out why you're feeling so trapped, why you're feeling like, you know, there is no out to this situation. Um, but this is only your thoughts. You are going to, while taking a step back and thinking, about uh, your situation, thinking about why you are feeling so controlled by the situation, you're going to have that aha moment with the judgment card. It's going to come to you. Um, this is also uh, getting a second chance at uh, connecting with somebody, getting a second chance to uh, build this, this foundation that you have wanted and desired to, uh, create with this person could be dealing with fire sign. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, earth is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is, uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely this is a connected relationship with the four of wands and the judgment together going within with the hermit card, um, you're going to, going to figure out why you have this eight of swords energy. The person you're connecting to has the two of swords. They have a decision to make a choice to make between two things, two people, two situations. They are going to, uh, begin to cut out people in their life that are not, um, serving their greatest good. The Queens are matching and mirroring here. <clears throat> But they're taking a more logical approach. They're, uh, uh, 
Yeah, they're finding out some kind of truth as well. The The queen always holds the, the sword of truth, and they use that sword to cut out people in their life that have lied to them, um, deceived them. They're going to begin to cut uh, people, cut themselves out of situations that align them with people who are not honest with them, who... Uh, yeah, even though, I mean, they have good memories of the past with this person, but they are going to decide to do what's best for them and move into this um, card of healing. The moon just moved into Aquarius on February 5th. So um, this is the card of Aquarius as well. This They're going to use this energy of the new moon to heal from a broken heart, heal from this backstabbing energy, this situation that caused them such betrayal and, um, you know, a death of their old self. They're going to use the, the energy of that moon to replenish their energy. They're no longer focused on this connection, this, uh, situation. They're now turning their focus on themselves. Heavy air. This is all air in this bottom row. Um, so you could be dealing with an air sign or you have air heavy in your chart. But this is this is using um, the the energy to heal all the wrongs that were done to them, preparing them to make a new beginning, a fresh start, and taking that leap of faith uh, for hopes of a better future. Um, I don't see them going into this blindly, though. They know exactly where they're going to take that leap of faith and. Um, and they put a lot of thought into this. Your guys' outcome is the Prince of Wands with the Three of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So uh, in your outcome, somebody's going to come towards you very quickly or you are going to come towards them uh, very fast, out of the blue. Um, you're going to hear from this person uh this is somebody that has a lot of passion moving forward, finally deciding to take, take the wheel and go. Um, yeah, I do see, um, earth signs. It is more than likely you making that action because the person that, um, you're wanting to connect to has been trying to manifest this situation. They are at a distance from you. Um, they do not live near you or in the same town as you, but, uh, they are at a distance trying to manifest this relationship back into, um, a commitment. This is also them receiving their blessings for doing the hard work of, um, of putting in the hard work to get what they want. This could be in the next three days or three weeks that you will come towards this person, but I don't see you talking before that. You are just going to, out of the blue, get a hold of this person. You have the Nine of Pentacles here as well. They're very um, independent, very financially. Um, they're financially doing very well because they're now focused on themselves. They're no longer needing this commitment to be successful. They are more in love with themselves than what... Uh, than what they ever have been. This is also investing in their education. They could be in school or going back to school uh, to better their career. But this is an like a a knowing card, knowing of the divine, being able to communicate with their higher self, with source, and um, put their best foot forward after healing from this Ten of Swords. Uh, situation that the two of you shared. But in the end, you have the judgment of the fool and the ace of cups. So making this move, making this decision to move forward, it's going to give you a second chance with this person um, taking that leap of faith and being able to offer um, a new relationship that has true feelings and uh, a fresh beginning, wiping the slate clean. And um, Yeah, this is this is like a faded event. This is a faded relationship that is coming um, back around for you to make it right from the first time to correct what was done in the first 
um, go around with this person. In your guys' shared energy, I forgot to go over these cards. You have the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So you're ma matching in vibration coming in back into the second chance with this person. Um, you're coming in very stable, very grounded, very uh, financially uh, trying to put your best foot forward where you're thinking more about the earth way of doing things, very planned, very calculated. This is um, trying to make sure everything is in order with a plan and a backup plan. Um, yeah, so you're coming in and more of a logical approach, more of a, uh, a monetary standpoint where they're coming in with their heart. They're very grounded, very stable in their emotions. They know what it is that they want. They know who they love. Um, and they're not afraid to show it. This person wears their heart on the, their sleeve and, um, leads, le leads their life decisions based on following their heart, their true heart's desire. And, um, knowing that if they follow their heart, they can't go wrong. There is something that you are not seeing or a sign. There's something right in front of you. The universe is trying to offer you this cup. Um, it's the same cup that the universe is trying to hand you and you're just not seeing it. Uh, there's something that is going to be shown to you from the universe or science today that is going to give you that aha moment. And it's going to be right in front of your face. And it's going to be, it has been right in front of your face this whole time or science. It's going to be a very beautiful day for you guys. A lot of great energy here for you guys. Um, embody that hermit energy and go within and, uh, and seek what you need to find in order to get out of that Eight of Swords so you can move forward in this Four of Wands energy with that who you are meant to. All right, Earth Signs, I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.